Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Mold Man episode. We are back on the turkey grind, and uh, it is Monday, so we are getting after it. And it's 5:50. Sunrise is at 6:30, so I need to get together and get down there. I'm back at my buddy's house down at the river, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get one of these big gobblers come in. So stay tuned, enjoy, and uh, hopefully we get us a big old tom down. Guys, it is 6.45 and I haven't heard a gobble. I haven't seen a turkey. Um, if y'all watched the previous video, I'm only hunting like five acres on the river, so I don't have a lot of room to walk around and call and try to locate them, but I know they pass through here every day, so I'm just gonna sit here and hopefully they end up come rolling through, but we'll see what happens. Well, guys, once again, got skunked didn't see a single turkey but i do keep seeing turkeys actually one turkey keeps showing up at the at the ranch before nine o'clock every morning um so i'm debating on tomorrow morning going out to the ranch and sitting in a ground blind after though after that turkey um but regardless i'm hunting till the end of texas turkey season birds are pretty much over but i'm gonna do my best to kill another tom uh before our season ends so i got a few errands to run in town then we're gonna come back to the house and uh gotta get the snake skin ready for tanning or in the tan uh we are gonna do the glycerin so i gotta run by go get some stuff supplies for that and then I'm gonna get some more supplies for the pigeon coop. We're gonna work on that a little bit. Who knows what else we're gonna get into, so. All right, so the two stores that I went to to get the glycerin for the snake skin, the rattlesnake skin, they were all sold out. I guess everybody's tanning snake skins these days, but. Um, so we're gonna bypass that method and we're gonna try the orange bottle. No, 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 no. We're gonna try the orange bottle of tanning solution and see if that works. I'm gonna text my buddy Stu over at Coon Creek Outdoors and see if he's ever done any snake skins with it because I know that's how he tans all of his hides at home. So uh, last stop at Home Depot, gonna go get me a big toolbox for the shop. And I got me a bunch of chicken wire for the new pigeon cage. And I gotta grab some more wood at Home Depot as well. So. One more stop, and then we're headed to the house. You mowing? Oh, there's a screw right behind your head. So, if you watched the last video, you've seen what I've done on the new pigeon coop. I've done a few more things since that video. Got the frame of the door. Now I gotta build the door to go in there. I got my chicken wire. And uh, all that's left to do after that is to get the tin for the roof and the sides and the back. And then uh, five gallon buckets for their roosting, roosting nest. So I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse real quick. We're gonna try to knock out as much as this as possible today. I'll put 
the hinges on it and make sure everything works. I'm gonna end up having to take it all apart because I gotta put wire on it and I don't really want to do that while it's uh, hung up and everything. So I'm gonna get the hinges on and then we'll go from there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, whoop. Bring it back in. Look at that. Look at that spacing. All the way around. You. Pretty dang good if you ask me. Good morning everybody. It's day two and I actually came out to the ranch today. I've had uh, the same Dom come to camera the past four days. So my luck, he won't show up on the fifth day. But I'm almost 90% sure it's the turkey. The Tom I shot a few videos ago with Air Gun because he has one wing hanging in every single picture so I really hope he shows up and uh, hope I can get a shot on him but sit tight and uh, we'll see if he comes through. Alright guys, day three of continuing the turkey hunt. I um, obviously just showed a little bit of footage of what I did yesterday. Working on the pigeon coop and stuff, but we're gonna finish this video off uh, doing some Euro mounts. So I did get my toolbox in and set up. Now I just gotta fill it. I got tools spread out everywhere. So as you can tell, I titled this video How to European Mount Deadheads, which is what we're gonna do. Um, but really I wanted it to be about the turkey hunt, but nothing came in. So, I got these dead heads in this bag. I got two axis bucks. One is velvet my dad found yesterday, and the other one we found in a video a couple weeks ago, if y'all remember it or saw it. I need to grab a knife so I can cut this bag open. So, first step, if you have a rotting head or one that has a bunch of dried skin on it, first thing you want to do is soak it so we are going to soak the heck out of these heads and try to get everything rehydrated that's on their skull and that's the only way that you're going to get that stuff off otherwise it's just going to peel off and whatever's left behind is just going to stick to the skull so let me set y'all up and i'll get into this stinky bag and show you what these axes look like all right time to cut into this nasty sucker The one that's in velvet is he's pretty much hard one, so I'm still going to spray that velvet down so they don't get ruined. Alright, so we'll pull the velvet one out first. Big old velvet axis. Sucks to see them dead. And then just a decent hard one buck. This one's been, been gone for a while, so it doesn't stink as bad, but they still both stink really bad. I'm gonna get rid of this trash bag. So here are these two nasty old skulls. And uh, first things first, put their heads in water. All right guys, we got them sitting in water. You can see all the beetles coming out of them. They did a really good job of getting all that meat off for us. We just gotta get that skin off, so. Let it soak for a couple hours, and I'll see you when they're done soaking. So they've been soaking for probably three or four hours. Uh, I gave them some more time than I originally said, but uh, they could honestly probably soak for about 24 hours. So I got me some gloves, because these are gonna be nasty. Basically all we did is soften that skin up to where I can just cut the skin off. And then once we get that skin cut off, See, it's still rock hard on there, but we're gonna cut off what we can and uh, just go from there. There's beetles all over it. So we're just gonna work on this. It's gonna take me a little while, 
to get all this as much off as I can. And I'm gonna take that lower jaw off and uh, then we'll get to boiling. All right guys, we got both skulls cleaned up. Pretty dang good actually. Um, so now I am putting water in the boiling pot and uh, we're gonna get that up to a boil. Boil the heck out of these. Put a little Dawn dish up in there and then uh, we'll pressure wash them and then we'll do our whitening boil. So it's gonna take a little while for these to get boiling. I'm gonna go eat dinner while these are starting to boil and uh, I'll catch you whenever they're almost ready to pull out and we'll start pressure washing. All right, I think we're good. Pull them out, start pressure washing. Get the old apron on and get to work on these nasty jokers. Really wish we had smell of vision so y'all could smell what I'm going through right now. So as you can see, it's a lot quicker process to do it once it's a rotting head because all the meat is completely eaten off by bugs. All you're getting is a few little things. Although I will say you got to be careful because they get very, very brittle. I'm still zoomed in, aren't I? Sorry about that. you are probably looking up my nose. But these animals get super brittle. So... You just got to be extra careful, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to take the ears out real quick. I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll move on to the whitening. So basically, all you do for the ears, take you, you can take a uh, screwdriver or whatever, whatever works, whatever you have laying around. There's still a few little things I got to get, and there's that ear hole right there. And you just want to pop that whole thing out just like that so we'll do that on both sides and don't worry you're not hurting anything feels like you're ruining it but you're really not so that's it just cleans it up a little more We got some 40 by volume liquid peroxide. And we're gonna put half and half, so we'll do these two gallons and then fill the rest up with water. And we're only gonna boil them for about three minutes. And then uh, we'll pressure wash them one more time and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go fill the rest up with water and then we'll get it back to a rolling boil.
All right, so we're at a rolling, kind of a rolling boil. When you start to see a bubble up like that, you're good. I went ahead and put it in. I'm gonna leave it in for about three, four minutes. Pull it out, I'll wash it off. We're gonna do them one at a time, so I can really make sure that's not getting all over the horns, because it will sting, it will whiten your horns. Um, so sometimes I go back in with a little stain pen or even a little paintbrush with some, some wood stain and it, you can make them look really good like that. But we'll let this guy finish up three, four minutes, pull them out and wash them. All right, it's been almost three minutes. Pull it out and once it dries, it'll get a lot more white than it is. Last one. Turned out awesome. Give it a rinse and then we'll take her in. Alright guys, and that is how you Euro some deadheads. They turned out awesome. Uh, I'm gonna let them dry overnight here in the shop. And then I still gotta spray the velvet down with the velvet saver and uh glue a few pieces on the noses but that is all stuff you can do that's all stuff you can do after the fact so that is gonna wrap this video up hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's kind of a little vlog style a little bit here and there a little bit everywhere but um the turkeys are just being difficult so i'm going back in the morning so y'all stay tuned y'all go check out my merch site if you want to support the channel maltman.net go get you some stuff over there and if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit thumbs up, and remember, eat good.